Now to the latest on the area fires and of course that rainfall it certainly is a welcome sight but consider this all that rainfall coming down over the fire burn parts of western Oregon also creating a new concern for emergency management officials. Our Jenny Young is live tonight in Marion County with information you need to know. Dan Elizabeth, we're here on Highway 22 and it's dark, but you can still see some of the downed trees and where we're standing. It just looks like a war zone and this is just the beginning of Highway 22 where it's closed off. Now this highway is closed from Gates Hill Road to Santium Junction because of fallen trees and other dangers on the road. But ODOT officials saying that they are not closing any roads yet out of fear of mudslides. People love to hear the word rain when it comes to wildfire season, but sometimes too much of a good thing is not so good. That's Mary Rister, the meteorologist on the Lion's Head fire. Because if you get too much rain, especially in a short period of time, then you're going to have some problems with the um, saturation of the soil. You could have debris flows. Tonight, during a virtual question and answer session, Rister addressed some of the dangers this area could see in the coming days with the expected rainfall. Um, I've talked it over with the National Weather Service offices in Portland and Pendleton, and we all agree that this amount of rain is significant, but it is a pretty long duration of time that is not going to be a flooding event. There might be some uh, mudslides in some areas that re remote complex terrain, but not widespread. And while hundreds of fire personnel continue working to contain the Beachy Creek and Lions Head fires, the Oregon Department of Transportation says they have crews working seven days a week. There are tens of thousands of trees that are threatening the road. With an estimate like that, Don Hamilton with ODOT says reopening highways is not going to be quick or easy. There's really a remarkable amount of damage to these roads that have been closed in here. It's not just the trees. Check the signs, check the guardrails, check the bridges, check the culverts. There's so much that needs to be checked before we can get these roads open again. And with the wind expected with that rain, countless trees, countless more trees will likely be toppled. Now officials say be aware while you're out driving and again stressing stay out of the evacuated areas. Reporting live tonight in Marion County, Jenny Young, Point 6 News.